What's up guys, the Tricks are just sitting here bringing you another, well, the continuation of Nocturne Rebirth. Now, in the last episode, uh, we basically expositized and talked to the whole town. And now we're gonna continue expositizing the whole town. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Hold on. I forgot to prepare for the girl voice. Ugh, ah. This is the village, this is the village chief's house. As the village chief is busy right now, we can only see his house from the outside. Hmm. That's what he probably with some rushes. Or should I say the smithy? That's unfair. <laughs> busy at this time, huh? Whoops, shit's locked. Anyways, uh, let's keep on going. Hmm? Luna? What are you doing here? I don't remember today being your training day. No, that's not you, Mr. Rush. I'm just being Mr. Rubiel, the gentleman that I meet around the village. Hmm, I see. Mr. Rubiel, this is Mr. Smithy, and the gentleman in front of you is... Rush. Everyone in the village calls me that. Well, if it's swords or any other rare weapons or armors that you want, then I'm afraid to say that I don't forge them. You're better off approaching Maddock, the weapon and armor shopkeeper for them. Do you know where he is? Yes, Mr. Rubio knows. I brought him there earlier. Then that sells it. You don't forge weapons and armors? Yeah, I don't. While this place is officially smithy, it's essentially more like a hardware shop. Mr. Rush basically forges things like pots and kettles. Oh, and this is irrelevant, but an achievement of his is having built a bell for in the town of Snow Trail. Yeah, pretty much that. You mentioned train. Ah, uh, well, the truth is, I'm currently trained by Mr. Rush in spear fighting. Well, that's, after all, an art of self-defense. She had long pestered me to train her no matter what until I finally agreed. Hmm. Luna, are you about done now? I would like to spend the day today tidying up. Uh, sorry for your being work. Nah, no fret. If anything, I can't thank you enough for saving me from your tongue by Marcus Stella when I first came to this village. Um, we could really use some help for getting an end in that time. <laughs> well, she assists maturity to a fine lady. Even Maddox is willing to learn free from her. I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. Well, I'll see you again then. I look forward to the horror street. Yeah, same here. Yeah, huh? I wonder if it's really alright to overlook him. So, that's it then? Yeah, I more or less know about the whole village now. Is something wrong? Mr. Romeo, can I have to work with you? Hmm? Ooh, the plot thickens. I should have been more open about the village in the first place, but I didn't. There will be probably only be a good little sign so we can do that now. You see, I actually wanted to tell him how you seen your life and how great you for that, but instead, I only gave him the impression that you're just a traveler. Are you unhappy about that? Not really. You're a kind person. Anyway, there are two things that I need to tell you about. Sound like rock progress all over the village. They've been ongoing for quite some time, and only have died down recently. However, it's not over yet. There's still one person who's bedridden and has yet to recover. And that person is the one living in the house up those stairs, isn't it? Yes, that's right. On the other hand, the situation in the area is away from the house has taken a turn for the better. Still, though, it must not be negligent. And I so would I, uh, and so I would advise that you don't get too close to the house. The other thing is regarding vampires, right? <gasps> it began about two weeks ago. First, the woman's body was found with traces of blood having been soft, and several people went missing. And last night, they were seen forever. Oh no! Even though a slight sk skilled slayer is coming tonight, I still don't feel safe. Oh, after hearing about all these incidents, do you feel uneasy about them? 
Oh, absurd. Um, mm. Hold on. Epidemic? Vampires? What about them? Those aren't a threat to me at any rate. Huh? Did you say something? No, oh, it's nothing. Well, let's head back to my house. There's probably just one. Okay, what the hell happened to the music? Mr. Sakuno, what's wrong? It's Lydia. She's suddenly... Lydia's in trouble? I can speak. I thought the bucket kept her suspicion under control. I don't know. All I know is that she suddenly spewed blood and that her fur had begun to burn hot. If any of you were having a media, I... I... What should I do? Doctor. There's a doctor. He went to the urban area to purchase medicine. That's why I can only rely on you. I can help. Do all I can do. Do all I can do, but the doctor returns. God damn it! I hate doing doing my talking in this voice. Sorry, right, Mr. Rubio. I have to. Do whatever you want. Thank you. Come along, I'll be in place. What a hassle. Uh, let's save for a bit, because I feel like the plot's gonna thicken. Oh, Rubio, wasn't Luna with you? She went to the house up on the hill. Uh, don't tell me it's with regard to Midia's condition. Apparently, it is. Rubio, sorry for charming you with this, but you did uh, uh, mm, Hold on, let me change a bit, because that's the Luna voice. Raviel, sorry for joining you with this, but could you pass this book to Luna? Obtain medical and medical encyclopedia! Totally not useless book. Alright. You can just ask the person standing in front of the house on the hill to pass it to her. Thank you in advance. Okay. Still, the animations are great though. Like seriously, they're not by RPG maker standards. You know, I'm surprised. <gasps> what the fuck? It's nice to make your acquaintance, Mr. Evian. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm known as Shapeian. I came with Yoda, my master. I hope we can get along. From this point forward, Master, this mana, so it's chaos, huh? Yes, that is correct. So, what business do you, a familiar of chaos, have with me? I'm here to pass a written invitation from my master to you. We wish to invite you for tea. My master has cut up all feelings with the outside world, and please forgive me for not being so to see you like this. Obtain Chaos's invitation! No be all for me. We shall await your arrival in my master's residence. First, who? And second, what? Whatever. Anyways. Hmm. You're the one Luna brought whom Luna brought to this village. Let me in. No. Someone infected by the epidemic lives inside. I cannot allow strangers in at any rate. There's something else. Of certain affairs before heading to chaos residence. <gasps> oh. Hmm? Oh. What was I doing? Let me in. You have no problems with that, right? Ah, oh, yes. Please, go in. I basically just Jedi mind tricked his ass. She was doing well just not too long ago. We must calm down. Right now we have the invasion and trust that our girl will pull through. Mr. Ramiel, what are you doing here? I'm asked to pass something to you. 
There's also something I want to ascertain. Last medical encyclopedia to Lumia. This book is about my mom, isn't it? So she shares the same thought as me. Luna? Well, I actually have a hunch that Minnie's illness might not be caused by the epidemic. A condition, after all, is slightly different from the original so conditions of running ventilators. I can't be so sure. Mr. Ramiel? So this is different from what I thought. Huh? Wait, this is. Ramiel! It's a good person. So it's a puppet curse, huh? Huh? It's most likely the work of a vampire. The work of a vampire? You mean the vampire cursed media? Yeah. What? So that means Minnie's illness is. It's not caused by the epidemic. The vampires were just a small fight. Still, this will be interesting. Why? Why is Minnie cursed? <laughs> the reason is simple. Vampires can't turn to our home unless they die. Vampires are also, are also only active at night, which is the time where most people are in their homes. And vampires obviously can't hunt with broad daylight. That's why some mid-class and above vampires started to control people with weak minds and lure them out of their homes. Out of their homes, behind the scenes. In Minia's case, though, the poor mind control skill was used on her, causing her mind to be stressed to an abnormal degree instead of being controlled. That's why her content and condition suddenly deteriorated. There is, but... Eh? Eh? You'll need a heavily herb named Amnia. Only with that can you easily remove the puppet curse. A heavily herb? That must be hard to find. I know a place where that herb grows in. I'll get that herb and meet my old then friend there while I'm at it. You don't need to. That place where my old friend lives is inhabited by monsters. Then how before I have to go? I'll be fine alone. You'll only be a hindrance if you come along. Alright. My old friend lives deep in the forest. And just so you know, I won't be able to guarantee your safety. If you don't mind all that, then do whatever you want. What a hassle, really. So, she's got hit by a pup curse. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, before we head out into town, uh, hold on. I gotta go to the. Here. Okay. <clears throat> and then I will save here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want some more, click the subscribe button and, and press that like button and leave a comment for your opinion. For your opinion and if you and and see you in the next video but until then keep on shocking Boop.